welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are new to the channel be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as you guys can see i'm standing next to the 2022 tesla model s plaid if you guys are looking to purchase this vehicle be sure to check out mercedes benz of cutler bay and x for lewis let's talk about pricing here for the model s plaid starting price is at fifty three thousand ninety dollars the mercedes benz of cutler bay is asking for one hundred and thirty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars but let's talk about the front styling here for the tesla model s plaid Let's talk about the exterior styling here for this all new generation of Tesla Model S. As you guys can see, my model is painted in all black. It gives it that aggressive uh, look to it because there's really no chrome trim around the vehicle. But looking here at these headlights here, they're gonna come standard on all models of the Tesla Model S. They're a full LED headlight, which is the LED turn signal, daytime run light, automatic low and high beam. This also has LED fault lights here. There's front parking sensors. This also has a, this front plate uh, here that you guys can add a license plate if you guys would like there's the tesla logo here front and center let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the tesla model s looking at the side profile here this has a 116.5 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 197.7 inches looking at these tires and wheels here i'm not a big fan of the aero finish to the actual rim design most people probably take the plastic covering off these are the 255 45 uh, P0 tire. They're wrapped in this 19 inch run design. In the rear, the wheels are going to be staggered there at 285 to give this car a really good grip. Keep in mind, this vehicle makes over a thousand horsepower. There's this camera mounted here to the side fender with this LED sight marker. And up top, Tesla does offer this glass roof to let light, to let light into the cabin. Making our way to the rear here of the Tesla model uh, S here. I like the full LED tail lights with this clear finish to the actual lens. Like I mentioned, they're full LED. There's this beautiful integrated carbon fiber spoiler here. That's the Tesla name, which is spelled out also with this, also with the Tesla logo there. That's the plat name uh, right here, which is very small, which Tesla would have made it just a little bit bigger. And looking down here, there's rear parking sensors. The rear diffuser kind of looks aggressive. Keep in mind, this is an all electric vehicle, so it does not need an actual exhaust tip or anything like that. There's the backup camera here. Open it up. Keep in mind, this is a actual hatchback, so it is practical. And since I like the suede Alcantara, uh, tunnel cover here so people can't see what's in the uh, cargo area and tesla says this has 25 cubic feet of space once you fold down the receipts that expands the cargo to 64.5 cubic feet of space so pretty good cubic feet of space back here uh, once you guys lift this up it does reveal some underfloor storage here very deep underfloor storage you guys can probably throw the mobile charger in here and it says tesla in the actual bag open it up like i mentioned it does have the mobile charger in there also. There's this connector or this adapter piece here. And closing this low floor back, let's hop into the interior. Sitting in the interior of the Tesla Model S Plaid, as you guys can see, I like this nice two-tone color combination with the cloth, also with the beige and the beautiful carbon fiber throughout this interior. You also get some carbon fiber for the exterior. This is a 17 inch display. This is a 12.3 inch display here, but reach over here to shut the door of the Model S. The door sounds very solid and the pillars in this vehicle are so thick you can't really see around it but it's when you press the turn signal here on the stern wheel it does show you what's next to you kind of like a blind view camera you can also switch that off and it will take away the little image here but let's talk about the materials here like i mentioned very nice carbon fiber throughout this vehicle it's also a nice high quality leather here this cloth is on the actual uh, door panel here this is how you get out of the vehicle by pressing that area there just in case the battery dies, you guys can pull this lever here, but tech, Tesla recommends that you don't do that. It might damage the vehicle over the years. And the windows are gonna be automatic up and down. This area is gonna be nice and padded, large storage compartment uh, here. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is this yoke steering wheel. I'm not a big fan of it, it's just so awky. Let's just put the vehicle into drive here. Let's in reverse, let's switch up to go into drive. See, mind you, your brain wants to grab this, but unfortunately there's nothing to physically grab. Most people like it. Me, me personally, I'm not a big fan because you kind of have to keep your hand at a certain angle on the steering wheel, which I don't like really. And you press the P there. This is how you basically put the vehicle into drive, neutral, park, and reverse. You swipe up to go into drive. You press in to go into neutral here. I'm sorry, you swipe up to go into neutral or you press hold and you to go into reverse, you swipe back. As you guys can see now, it does reveal a very bright backup camera. There's also trajectory lines. You can press show here, so it can show you different angles around the vehicle as well. And to put the vehicle into park, you just press the park button there. That's the Tesla, Tesla name here in the actual airbag cover. And to blow the horn, you can't go like this. You have to 
press that little uh, indentation there in the actual steering wheel. Also for the turn signals, left or right, you press that and it will show you what's next to the vehicle. Your high beam switch is here. They re basically remove every single knob that they possibly could eliminate out of this vehicle. But personally speaking, just not a big fan of the yoke steering wheel. It's a flat bottom design. You can also the horn, set up the cruise control and whatnot. This is a 17 inch display. Unfortunately, it doesn't, support, it doesn't support Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You have to use a Bluetooth function. I think, I think um, Tesla should reconsider offering Apple CarPlay in Android Auto. You can pull up the um, a calendar here. You can also look around the vehicle as well. Uh, the back, also the side cameras here. Uh, going here, you can also adjust the ambient lighting throughout this vehicle. I think this vehicle has around 64 uh, different colors. Let's do custom. You can change it to your liking here. So I think it has around 64 different colors. Let's go to theater here. You could um, watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube. Let's go to YouTube really quick and let's see what we can watch here. Let's just go here. Let's watch Johnny Depp and his ex-wife. And it will honestly pay f uh, play for you in really good resolution. Just have to adjust whatever YouTube uh, has it set at. You can also watch my YouTube channel as well, which you're watching right now as I'm gonna watch my YouTube channel video. <laughs> if that makes any sense uh but going here as you guys can see i'm almost at 15,000 subscribers i didn't even realize that um but going here to videos you guys can you know watch whatever you want as the vehicle is charging which is just super nice um let's get out of here really quick swipe down to dismiss once you swipe down it basically brings you back to uh, the screen here that's arcade there's a uh, toy box here you can also go to emissions which is super funny because <laughs> it's it's a, a far even when you put the signal on. <laughs> oh my god! It, it says far on demand. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That is so crazy. Let's do Falcon horn. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you could change different things about this car. Okay, let's cut the farting sound off because I'm gonna get distracted by the farting sound. So you can, you can also do romance, just in case you have another passenger next to you, you can set the mood. And as you guys can see, very bright uh, display here, very crisp uh, sound from the actual fire. Oh my God, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get copy spray. <laughs> you gotta do a light show. So like I mentioned from my Model, uh, Model 3 video that I did recently, everything is gonna be through the infotainment system. So basically this is the brains and operation of this car. You can power for the mirrors in, you can raise the suspension to your liking. It says locating, location set. So right now it's actually adjusting the suspension. We'll talk about the suspension in the actual test drive. Let's go to the suspension here. It does show you, you know, you're having this high setting. You can uh, default ride height to low. There's charging. It has 45 uh, miles until empty. You can, you know, set the uh, battery to your liking, how much you want to, you know, use and whatnot. Tesla says on a full charge, this gets 396 miles of all electric range. Just autopilot. You can lock different things and whatnot. This is your, your controls. Open the glove box here. Really nice glove box. It's lined with felt. Nice carbon fiber throughout the interior, like I mentioned, nice high quality leather. There's this famous mirror here above me, suede Alcantara headliner. There's these visors here, which has a magnet that closes it, which is really nice. There's also LED lights in the cabin as well. Nice large glass roof. It has a tent to it, which is really nice so the sun rays don't burn you up in the actual cabin. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I like the way the seats look, very look they look very futuristic. There's some more carbon fiber here in the center console. There's a hazard button there two uh, areas here to put your phone it's lined with felt also there's two cup holders open up this it does a real good amount of storage and they're very deep storage well more carbon fiber this area is going to be slightly padded but it does feel padded to rest your elbows there and whatnot but overall the interior of the tesla model s does not disappoint i like the nice displays here very bright screens very large screens i like the carbon fiber also but let's hop into the back seat Opening the rear door here, let's talk about the materials here on the actual door panel. Nice high quality leather, beautiful carbon fiber with some chrome trim here. It's going to be nice and pad. I like the nice two-tone color combination here that Tesla gives you on the Model S Plaid. This is a, a cloth-like material right here on the lower part of the door panel. This is how you get out of the vehicle. Nice high quality stitching and leather. Switch gear fills up, up to part. Nice storage here. But getting back here. As you guys see, I have plenty of headroom space because of this beautiful glass roof. It does have a tint to it, so the sun rays don't burn you up in the actual cabin. And as you guys can see, there's this fully digital display here that you can adjust for your heated seats. Even the middle passenger has 
a heated seats, which is just super nice. And the heated seats turns on very fast. You can go here, you can watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Twitch. Um, once you guys go to YouTube and whatnot, it will display the actual sound to the uh, front speaker so the driver can uh, lower, lower the sound or raise it. Let's go to my YouTube channel, which I wanna do so badly. Let's go to drive on reviews. <laughs> Uh, once you go here, space on, of course. So this is really nice. So if you guys have children that get bored very quickly, they won't get too bored because there's an actual a screen back here that would keep them company on a long road trip. But keep in mind, if they want to watch Baby Shark all day, if you guys are going on a, on a road trip, you will have to basically deal with the sound. But as you guys can see here, this is my YouTube channel, which is just super impressive tech that Tesla even offers this. I like the nice two-tone color combination. Fold down these seats only if you're trying to extend the actual cargo. So there's no uh, armrest, which I'm surprised to see, but the seats are supportive and comfortable. There's two type C ports here in the floor, as you guys can see, freaking flat. So you can fit three people across in comfort, but shutting the door, the door sounds very solid. And this pillar here is very thick. I like the nice suede Alcantara headliner here. Uh, press this here, this, this is gonna be for the LED lighting. And this is for actual coat, if you guys wanna hang something there. Overall, the back seat of the Tesla Model S does offer good space also really good tech as well let's take a look underneath the hood of the tesla model s so you guys know that tesla is known for frunks but open up the uh, frunk area here it does offer a good amount of space in here you could probably put some dirty clothes in here or some stink food that you guys don't want to have stinking up your actual cabin and there's this safety latch here just in case you guys try to put someone in there which i recommend not doing because that wouldn't be nice. You can also change the wiper fluid here. Like the Mercedes EQS, um, Mercedes, you have to take it to the actual dealership in order to, you know, look up underneath the hood because Mercedes does not want you to actually open that. But let's talk about the Model S here. Tesla says this makes 1,020 horsepower, which is just super damn fast. One of the fastest cars that I've driven on the channel. We'll talk about that in the actual test drive in zero to 60 in 1.98 seconds, which is really damn fast. One of the fastest cars that I've driven here on the channel. Like I mentioned, we'll talk about that in the actual test drive. And Tesla claims that this makes 900 pound feet of torque. I'm not too sure about the pound feet of torque spec, but let me know in the comment section if you guys know the actual torque figure here for the Model S Plaid. And as this vehicle sits here, it weighs around 4,700 pounds, which when I was driving this car, it didn't even feel like it weighed that much. So starting off in the 2022 Tesla Model Plaid here. This is the Model S and the Plaid uh, trim configuration. But let's talk about visibility here. This visibility is great. The screen is freaking large. It's like a mini television inside this interior. And as you guys can see, I'm going like this because there's no upper part of the actual steering wheel, which I have to get used to because it's mind boggling driving a car with the top of the steering wheel cut off, which is kind of crazy. I like the nice display as you guys can see and the actual screen and the car actually the car stopped for me and it put the brake on for me which is really nice so technically it just basically put the brake on for itself the visibility out of this vehicle is really good good commanding view out of the back in the front the sides you can see out it very well there's this thick a pillar here and i'm going to put the vehicle into its plat mode which i tested out before i got in this vehicle i mean before i cut on the cameras my apologies and it legit blew my mind like honestly it blew my mind um, in order to use a turn signal, there's no stock. As you guys can see, Tesla got, re they removed it. You have to press on the actual steering wheel. Once you do that, it will show what's next to the vehicle. And as you guys see, there's this uh, GLE or GLC, I think it is. I can't really see, but it's in the AMG uh, package. But once again, I have to get used to the steering because I'm so used to the other steering. But a foot on the accelerator, I have it in its chill mode and it does a good job of not using too much power or basically going bonkers, but it drives really well. Great visibility. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I like the nice two-tone color combination with the nice genuine carbon fiber throughout this cabin. But this right here, is, it's crazy. It's just different. They call it the yoke steering wheel. You can also blow the horn because you can't blow it on the actual airbag. You have to press the button here on the actual horn, which is kind of crazy. You have to adjust, you have to use these controls here for the wind wiper as well. Of course, your volume controls on this side. You can hit the automatic high beam switch on the stern wheel. So Tesla did a lot of um, evolution here in a sense, you can say evolution, because um, they just basically took something that was that we're all used to and this basically put into this different form here. Um, Tesla says on a full charge, this vehicle gets 396 miles of all electric range. Keep in mind, this is an all electric vehicle. It does not need a combustion engine to move this car. 
and it says it takes 15 hours on a 240 volt of course you guys know you can dc fast charge and that will cut the charge time in half um, let's talk about the horsepower number here this tesla says this has 1020 horsepower which is super impressive this is the fastest car that i have driven on the channel so far and they say zero to 60 in 1.9 uh, seconds which is just super crazy and scary at the same time but we're gonna we're gonna do a, an acceleration run but this car just drives so well and it does not cause a, a pretty penny this thing is very expensive it's right on par with something like the mercedes-benz eqs but i don't think mercedes comes nowhere near the amount of performance that this car has because i've driven the eqs and that's a great competitor in this in the price point uh wise because this car costs over six figures which is kind of crazy for an electric vehicle but keep in mind electric cars are um more expensive but this is in this chill mode and you feel the instant torque uh, i couldn't find the actual torque numbers for this vehicle but i think i've seen something that this says it has over 900 pound feet of torque which I'm not sure if that's accurate because Tesla is a, a company that's really hard to find specs on. It's not like a Mercedes or anything like that. You could just, you know, pick it up online and see. But I, I just don't like the stirring. It is, I guess I have to get used to it. But right now, let's come to a stop. Well, the vehicle is going to come to a start for me. And you're going to go to a vehicle here. And you're going to go to, if I remember this correctly. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, okay, you go to pedal and stirring. You go to plaid. You're gonna put it into sport. <sighs> foot on the brake and accelerator. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is freaking crazy. That is crazy. Oh my god. If you guys have a history of speeding tickets, this is not the car for you to show your friends on public roads because this car will legit, I kid you not, get you more speeding tickets because like I mentioned, zero to 60 in 1.98 seconds. That is super crazy. And this with the vehicle in its uh, plaid acceleration. Also the steering is in the sport. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so like, I'm shaking right now because this is so damn crazy how fast this car is. And, you know, like when electric cars, when they're up in speed and you floor it just like that. Oh God, <laughs> this thing is so damn quick. This is one of the quickest accelerating cars that I have driven on my YouTube channel. Like I kid you not, but just because we can, <laughs> let's do another acceleration run. And to tell you guys the truth, my hands are like kind of shaking just a little bit because this is just way too much power. So foot on the brake and accelerator. This legit. Oh god, there's literally like nothing in the car is kind of like going towards the left. You have to kind of like counter stir it. But mind you, I'm doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> if you guys want to impress your your passengers in a sense and they don't know anything about a Tesla, this is going to blow their freaking minds. With the plaid, like I mentioned this car is a six-figure car, so it's not cheap to basically purchase this car but you can do different things you can play games while you're at a, a charging station and whatnot so if you guys are looking for the ultimate electric vehicle that will honestly put a smile on your face every single day <laughs> like it is for me i think the plaid is definitely worth looking at if you guys have the money to spend after spending time with the 2022 Tesla Model S Plaid, as you guys seen from the driving scene, this vehicle just offers killer performance, zero to 60 in 1.98 seconds, which is just super impressive. It honestly kept a smile on my face, but hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video.